How's it going Forex traders? Welcome back to yet another amazing video from yours truly, Dapo Willis. Now guys, today I'm back and I'm back for good. Sorry I've been away for a bit. I just had to allow the market breed. You know how the Forex market goes. Anyways, today I've got Trader Talk. For those of you guys who are joining me for the first time, Trader Talk is a segment of my YouTube channel whereby I come to practice what I preach. Meaning that everything that I talk about from candlestick patterns to Fibonacci to all the things, trend lines, support and resistance, everything that we talk about, you know, in Forex in general, I come on here under this segment called Trader Talk to put everything together to ultimately make the best trading decision possible, ultimately make a lot of money. So guys, if you're joining me for the first time, welcome. And if you're already obviously been watching me for the longest time, it's good to see you again. I've actually missed you guys so much. Sorry, I've been away for a bit. Like I said, I had to take some time off the market to allow the market breathe. Now, guys, today, before I jump into my chart, before I jump into the screen, I want us to do a quick recap of everything that's happened uh, over the last 12 months. As of, the, as of the time I'm recording this video, it is the 20th of December. Yes, it's been exactly one year since I started, started trading because I started trading on the 20th of January um, this year. So between then and now, it's been exactly 12 months, right? And guys, we've gone on to make over 7,500 pips. You heard me very correctly. 7,500 pips. And I'm going to be showing you guys with all clarity, transparency, how exactly we went on to make all these pips. Yes, 7,500 is a lot of pips. Not just myself. You can ask the Forex Mastery students as well. And I also want to use this opportunity to congratulate all the Forex Mastery program, um, Forex Mastery students that have been able to pass their FTMO and pass their My Forex funds. And the ones who have also gone ahead to make redrawals and I've gone ahead to do tangible things with Forex. I'm proud of you. I'm proud to call you guys my instructor because I keep seeing messages from people. People are sending messages on Telegram. I'm seeing Toyota Corollas. I'm seeing people buying SUVs from, the, from obviously taking the program, going into the market, making the best trading decisions possible and making a profit and ultimately redrawing that profit. So if you're a Forex Mastery student and you have contacted me with all your results and everything, I want you know yourself I want to say congratulations I'm so 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 proud of you guys throughout this year we've backed 7,500 pips it has been an amazing year not just for myself but for the Forex Mastery students as well now over to me I just got back from Qatar I went to watch the World Cup right yes I went to watch the World Cup but the real reason I actually went there was for profit sharing purposes. For those of you guys who've been following me the longest, last year I signed a $50 million deal with a massive hedge fund uh, that's based out there, right? And they gave me $50 million for that for, for us to manage. We started trading on the 20th of January of this year, and as we speak, we're up 139%. Yes, we're officially done trading for the year. And guess what, guys? I get to keep 50% of that profit to myself. So you can imagine I'm smiling. I'm I'm telling you guys the wire transfer came yesterday which was Monday and I have I won't lie to you guys I have never seen those kind of figures before in my life in my own personal account my own guys it was millions of dollars all thanks to my ability to go into the charts understand what exactly is happening with the use of the top down analysis I cannot stress this enough and some of you guys keep asking me okay that's you know the you need to understand that you don't always have to be trading the market. The best way to bank 7,500 pips is not to always be in front of your screen. You have to set your trades and go and do other things. And for, I tell you what, the Forex Mastery students who have made a lot of money this year have also, it's not just about the technicals alone, it's also the psychological aspect of things as well. Your ability to trade and let the market work for you. Me making 139%, you can go back to all my videos from the beginning of the year. You can see I trade and I go chill. Yeah, I trade and I go chill. You know, so this is a very important you know aspect to success. And if I in go ahead and interview all the Forex Mastery students that have done very well, you will they will also tell you the same thing as well. They only it is to summarize it is your ability to go into the market and look for the best trading opportunities possible. We're not looking for five, six, seven, ten trades a day. We're looking for that one that is guaranteed to make us profit. And if you haven't grabbed the program already, you're doing yourself a great injustice. Why? Because apart from the fact that you're probably not going to make a lot of money if you're not educated about the top-down analysis, apart from that, <clears throat> 
we're also changing the forex mastery program to a subscription model yes because the value that i put into this program is worth millions of dollars millions and millions of dollars and i feel like us giving it at 99 dollars it pretty much it is a giveaway okay and I don't think my, my knowledge and my experience should be sold at just $99. So what my team is going to do from the first of next month. So if you're watching this video and you haven't grabbed the program, ensure to grab it because by the end of this month, it's going to become a subscription pro um, um, subscription um, program whereby people are paying $99 a month. For, um, they're paying $99 dollars right now for lifetime like you get once you pay for it you have it for life so the existing forex mastery students are good once they've already bought it they have it for a lifetime however people who join after the first of january will have to pay 99 dollars every month to stay on the program because the program is better than all the programs that i've seen out there guys i now have so much confidence in the program because guys the amount of money that I've made from this approach, okay? I saw it live in my bank account. Not my trading account, my bank account. I felt it, it was live. And me also seeing the Forex Mastery students, okay, also make a lot of money as well. I now believe that this approach is the best approach in the Forex market. I don't care what anybody has to say. So if you haven't grabbed the program, click the link around here somewhere to grab it and I'll catch you guys in the program. So guys, without any further ado, I wanted to say I love you guys. I love everybody who watches this video, but I love the Forex Mastery students more because they understand and they get it. When I say don't trade for three weeks, they understand why okay so once again if you haven't grabbed the program the link is around here somewhere but in the meantime i'm going to jump into the video so that i can do a quick recap and give you forecast for the year ahead once again let's go all right people welcome welcome inside of my screen it's good to have you back it's good to be back on the charts um like i said earlier guys i want to do a quick recap on how we made 7500 pips this year once i'm done with that we're going to go into the forecast um that i fit well forecast for next year what i think the market is going to do and potential trading opportunities so that you guys can take advantage of it as well but 7500 pips is a lot of pips i think it's even more than that i'm not actually lost count on the on the trades that we took for last year um, i'll have to check my um trading statement but for me i'm more of a technical person let's look at how we were able to analyze these trades how were we able to predict them okay what did what what does that but willis do differently that he's able to catch all these pips you know you know a lot of them so let's take gbp usd quickly okay because i have a, quite a number of them quickly gbp usd um so what exactly how were we able to, to to bag a lot of people from gbp usd now guys you have to understand for those of you guys who've been following me the longest gbp usd was in an uptrend we got here we tried to buy came here this was about may of last year and then for about six months the market went into a nasty range and i was telling people I'm like yo listen GBP USD has two options. We can either break all the way to the upside. You can even still see my green bar about here. So I said two things. This is a key zone. Forex mastery students, you know the power of, you know the power of, um, of, uh, you know the power of key, of key levels, right? Very, very important. As you can see, this key level, I said to myself, if we break above high, high, we can start buying. But if we stay below here and start pointing to the downside, then hmm, it might signal bearish momentum, right? And lo and behold, what happened was we started to see a head and shoulder pattern form at a key level. Forex mastery students, you know this. Anytime a um, a chart pattern forms at a key level, you know best believe if it plays out, it's going to play out. Meaning that if this, so for example, what actually happened here is a left shoulder, head, right shoulder. And the, character, uh, the, the laws of price action state that if a neckline is broken, I speak about this on module five in terms of um, trend reversals. If, because this is a reversal of this trend, this was an uptrend, this is a trend reversal. How do you know the market is going to reverse? Check module five of the Forex Mastery program. Anyway, so it happened, and the laws of price action state that once we come and break the neckline and we retest it and start pointing down, that market is in a full fledged trend reversal. So it was so simple in five minutes, weekly time frame. I just saw it, bam. I just waited and it gave me all the, it lined up. And this is why I tell people, give it time. I love the market, you know. But for a long time, I wasn't trading GPPOS and people were like, oh, he? he's not trading, he's not saying anything. I was allowing the market cook. 
And guess what, guys? When he cooked and started pointing downwards, from here is exactly where I started shorting GBPUSD. If you think I'm lying, check my previous videos. Everything is that I documented my entire trading journey for the year is on my YouTube channel, right? Entire one is on the year. Uh, um, my entire trading journey is literally on my YouTube channel. <clears throat> I think I should remove my trader talks and put it on the new platform. I think I should. I'm not sure. Because it's, it's a lot of, you know, heavy information on there, you know. Anyways, guys, um, back to what I was saying. So, um, I forgot what I was saying. Anyways, so look at that. At the point we, had, we realized that this was a confirmed downtrend was here. So, the market was about 1.3600. And this key level had already been plotted, okay? Because if you look left, you see... Obviously, I speak about it on the Forex Mastery program. No indicator will help you plot. This is so simple and easy to plot. You just need to know what to look out for. So we knew that once we started selling here, our level, our overall targets were going to be here. So if you calculate 1.3600 to 1.220, you're looking at about 1,100 pips on GBPUSD just between here to here. Now, I took out all my money here because I, I didn't really think GBPUSD was going to fall lower. We came down tested the bottom of here and that's how i knew this looks like we're going to continue going lower and then i zoomed out again and the next level target was here how do i know this if you look left back in 1985 this was a key level as well so this was pretty much no man's land let me delete this black bar uh, this was pretty much i mean the market was just here just imagine just imagine this was what you were looking at right right no man's land there was space between here to here obviously i started selling here and i held all the way down here so if you calculate from uh just give me a sec if you calculate from 1.200 all the way down to one point about one point probably like 1.06 so i mean if you factor in the fractions and all that so you're looking about another thousand people so from gbp usd alone just by looking at this market for five minutes on a weekly time frame with the top-down analy analytical perspective, I was able to, pre first of all, I was able to bag 2,000 pips. But think about it, guys. From, from all of this happening, I was able to predict the collapse of the British pound sterling. So all you guys were seeing on the news was as it was happening. I had seen it months, months before... The market actually collapsed like i predicted the collapse of the british pound sterling that's actually crazy if you think about it and i was able to profit 2000 pips the only person that i know in this lifetime that has been able to predict that correctly has been the guy in, has been the guy called george soros yeah he's on the same level of warren buffett so here i am dapper willis just by using my top-down analysis um i'm able to predict the collapse of an entire economy that's crazy technicals do paint the picture actually technicals are very powerful anyways enough about that we came down here on gbp usd and as you can see straight away profit taking started to happen of course it was going to happen and once it started to happen i started to close out my trades i was good i was good i was okay i had made a lot of money a lot of money i was good and as you can see, the retracement started to happen. And then people are asking me, but why are you not trading? You haven't heard from me in a bit because I don't like to trade against the trend. This is the overall trend. As you can see, the market has pulled back into a key level. Now, this key level is going to be the deciding factor for what exactly happens to GBPUSD. Personally, we seem to be holding just fine. We've had one, two, three weekly candles stall at this region about here. All you need to do is obviously come on the daily time frame to see what exactly happens. And then you just draw your counter trend line like so. And I'm going to be watching this very closely for the year ahead. For the year ahead. I do believe that um, GBPUS is still... Well, I don't want to impose what I... For, for, the, the honest truth is I don't like to impose what i feel about the market i like the market to tell me what exactly it wants to do so for now two things can happen we can either break lower and obviously start making new lows or we can blow all the way to the upside i will however be waiting for gbpusc to give me the final go ahead for now i will be sitting on my hands once again and i'll be waiting i've made millions of dollars life-changing bread shutting this market i'm not gonna i'm not prepared to give any of it away as you can see, my, men my mindset, my mentality, it's a forex mastery mentality. I've got a forex mastery mentality, meaning that if you've made money and the market is not exactly presenting you the best opportunities, 
Go and spend your money, enjoy yourself. Allow the market because eventually that market that made you millions would eventually come back to make you more millions. You just need to be patient and you need to be careful. So for now, GBPUSD is pretty much in no man's land. I see people trying to buy it, sell it. They don't know what they're doing. Your mentors, signals, they don't know what they're doing. Because right now we're about to head into Christmas. The market is going to go very thin. Nobody's going to be trading and you're going to see people struggling. Don't forget GBPUSD is trading around key zone. Anything can happen around here. If I were you, I will sit on my hands until the new year. Go and study your Forex Mastery program. If you haven't already gotten it, ensure to get it. The link is going to be in the description as always. Get it, study it, and prepare yourself for what? The next year. The case <coughs> with the Euro is actually very similar as well. Uh, bagged all these pips all the way from the upside here. I predicted this entire move. 2022 has been a fantastic year. I honestly am not going to lie to you fantastic year once gbp usd gave me this double top at the key level as you can see the setups are very similar right so it gave me a double top at this key level here you know i was the truth is gbp uh, euro usd i was trying to push it i was trying to push it i was trying to push it you know i was trying to buy like come on go on make it higher high go on make it higher high and it wasn't happening the market started to roll over on, the, on this head and we came down here no trading opportunities for for a while we didn't have trading opportunities we came we broke the neckline started trading below the neckline however there was still key support so i said you know what there's nothing i could do i have to wait i'm not going to start selling here when i have to take my profit here as you guys know i like to go for minimum 900 pips minimum and as you can see we floated down below and we drifted to test the bottom so this was the support has now turned resistance these levels i plot them i don't touch them I, these levels have been on my charts for, for months, if not years. It takes me two minutes to plot them. So simple and easy. Simple. Forex Mastery students, you already know how to do that. Anyway, so we floated all the way to this, to, to this level. And guess what, guys? The drop really started to happen. I preferred this drop. I preferred this drop because I had more space to the downside. And we started selling somewhere around here, all the way down here, took out my profit. And then obviously we came back and started trading below it. And then we started selling again until we hit our major target, which was all the way down here. Now for Euro, what is going to happen next? Well, <clears throat> I'm just going to draw a simple trend line. As you can see, the market is still technically bearish. I'm just going to draw a simple trend line. Now, this is what exactly I can see. I can see what you can see okay simple easy delete everything we don't need to clutter our chat too much um, i'm still going to do another recap for next year or at the beginning of the year but this is what exactly i can see so this point is really the deciding zone for what's going to happen to the euro usd i can see another supply zone forming out about here so i'm just going to watch euro usd to see what exactly is happening we can blow all the way to the upside if we blow all the way to the upside i can still make money because with the top-down analysis you will still find uh pullbacks and buy opportunities and you know that these are your major levels from here 1.069 to 1.146 to 11 is what so you're looking at about 500 pips to the upside we'll still make money bro the most important thing is clear direction and as we can speak the markets are not showing us a clear direction so what we have to sit on our hands so i'll quickly touch one more currency before I head over to BTC, same thing with um, AUDUSD as well. AUDUSD, AUDUSD. I started selling AUDUSD from my sell positions for AUDUSD was somewhere around here. My overall targets were here. However, we didn't come into my overall targets. I was trailing my stops and I got stopped out somewhere around here for some profit. As we speak, I am not currently in AUDUSD. How did I know AUDUSD was going to drop? You know. As we're doing, as we're, like I said, we're doing a forecast of the year. Simple things, simple top-down analysis. People, you know, forex mastery students, you know. First things first. What do you do when you open a chart? You go on the monthly time frame. From what I could see on the monthly time frame, we had something like this. Okay, and as you can see, we pulled into here. The market was testing here. As at the time I did this analysis, the market was somewhere about here. We pushed into here. This trend line rejected it bearish engulfing candle. I couldn't trade because of this key level. I was waiting for this key because, guys, think about it. Just use your brain for a bit, right? You know that the market moves from key, from key zone to key zone, from key zone to key zone. Even if we break a key zone, we test it, and then we come to a key zone. Key zone to key zone, even if we break it, we test it. Key zone to key zone. Key zone, again, down to key zone. And if we break a key zone, we'll test the key zone. So from here... 
the only place down next key zone was going to be here right simple so if the market is going to head lower of it by by default this was going to be my next level target obviously <clears throat> which exactly i did we didn't have any trading opportunities until we broke down here and we started testing the bottom of this um of this uh support that not on resistance so you can see we were flirting above it we came above it market manipulation we came and started trading below it what did i do tapo with this very simple trader very straightforward guy doesn't like stress once we came back down after this market manipulation we tested the outermost point of the trend line at counter trend line and this resistance zone about here simple straightforward once the daily candle closed i went selling and i held all the way around this region and I started to notice some issues about here. So I looked left, okay, and I noticed that we actually, we're actually, there's this prick about here was causing a bit of issues. So I noticed the market came here <coughs> and was having a lot of issues. Immediately I noticed the market was having issues. Immediately I started to see a bullish engulfing candle on the weekly time frame. I automatically initiated a trailing stop and I think my trailing stop for this trade got closed out here. I would have loved for the market to come all the way down here but sometimes you don't exactly because from here to here I was gunning for a thousand pip drop but sometimes all you can take is 600 pips. I mean if the market blesses you with 600 pips are you going to take it or are you going to leave it? I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. This trade probably made us like maybe 2.5 million US dollars or even 3 million dollars. I think they're about. So I took it quick, boy. I took it. Once we got stopped out for trailing stop, which was obviously still in profit, I was happy. You know, it was something I wanted the whole. If we had hit 1K pips, we would have probably made like 4 million US dollars on the trade, but that didn't happen. Whatever the market gave to me, I took it as well. Anyway, so let's go over to some more complex stuff. Let's look at BTC. I'm very bearish on BTC. As a matter of fact, BTC next level target is one to $12,100 per coin. If we break that, actually, I have no hope for Bitcoin at the moment. I believe Bitcoin is going to collapse even further. Bitcoin, buy to Bitcoin. Oil prices, <clears throat> oil prices, I'll have to come and revisit oil prices and the S&P 500 first week of next month. But I just wanted to use this opportunity to show you guys a quick recap. The markets are going to give us more trading opportunities. All I'm trying to say here is we are simply pulling back. It's giving us a lot of money. The market needs to retrace. It is a fundamental law of price action. Retracements must take place. And as we go into the festive period, be very careful. Instead of trading a lot this period, use this period and educate yourself. Get the Forex Mastery Program. If you already have it, study it. Educate yourself. Go and watch my previous YouTube videos. Digest the course. I advise digest the course first and go and watch all my previous videos so there you go guys um don't worry i'm gonna i'm gonna do an official forecast video first week of january definitely for the year ahead but i just wanted to conclude this year and tell you guys i love you very much thank you for rocking with me staying with me till the very end of this year i hope to see you guys obviously i have a video coming out on saturday where i'm going to be telling you guys all about my trip to qatar doha profit sharing private jet everything you're going to see all of it right so i'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos uh yeah see you guys on my other screen i love you guys very much Take it easy and peace out. Don't forget for now, do nothing. No trades, study. We'll see you guys in the new year. If you keep trading now, markets are going to go thin. You're going to get stuck. You're going to lose all your money. You're going to cry and have a horrible Christmas. But if you want to smile during the Christmas, study, don't trade, keep your money, and I'll see you guys in the new year. All right, guys, let's go. Thank you guys very much for staying to the very end of this very lengthy video. I know it was long. I had to do a recap, a forecast, and like a general advice on what I think the market is going to do for the year ahead. Thank you guys very much for staying to the very end. My name is Dapper Willis. Don't forget to... Oh, my mic was about to drop. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button right about there. Drop me a nice comment if you found this video very helpful and i'll catch you guys on saturday uh, whereby i'll be dropping my next video take it easy and peace out